I see a lot of posts and comments circulating online around code refactoring. And I just want to add my two cents to the, the whole this whole topic because it almost appears as if if statements and certainly else statements have become like a taboo topic in in programming and it raises the question why and i think why is just the social media effect right like somebody makes a post and they see 500 likes and they think that that's the uh you know the way of the world and i think that if if else statements have kind of uh fallen victim to that same trap of like somebody will make a post and it'll get some level of popularity telling you that you know this code here is bad and in replace of this you should use a ternary operator to make it a one line statement and to just you know to just blanketly say that this code here is worse than this it doesn't make any sense because functionally they're exactly the same a apart from may you know okay i create a new variable here i could just return number plus two but you get what i'm saying it functionally these are the same things but for whatever reason this has become the bad way and doing everything one line has become the good way and that really raises the question well does it even matter like if i saw this there's no way that i would hold up a, a pull request and suggest to just write it like this because that's as purely subjective and it really doesn't matter like let, let me make these actually the same and let me write that return number plus return number plus two so now they're identical right i just now i'm not using another variable so i would never hold up something if i saw this written versus that way right and there's this whole notion of writing code like a senior developer, what does that even mean, right? Well, how are you defining a senior developer? Are you are you defining a senior developer as somebody who writes one line statements? <laughs> like, are you def are you defining a senior developer as somebody who doesn't use nested ifs? Because sometimes you do have to write nested ifs. It all comes down to what the business logic is, right? Sometimes you have multiple conditions. There's no way around it. Now, you can get really fancy with your syntax. You can get fancy with uh, chaining methods together. You can take a more functional approach and bind, uh, I guess, bind methods together. But at the end of the day, you have multiple conditions. And so I, I feel like this whole obsession to avoid writing this style of code has become almost detrimental to the industry as a whole because let's say if you were to say oh you know okay well let me check you know maybe if I, if I want to check if my number is one or sorry not <laughs> let me let me delete that here maybe if you know else in my else statement okay maybe I want to check you know maybe okay else if I want to check is one something like that so obviously that's a terrible arbitrary example but if i had multiple conditions i have to put that somewhere and yeah you could refactor that as a switch statement you could refactor it as so many ways but i would never hold up something because of this and this this whole thing about clean code i think has be become this whole like i don't know what it's become but it's almost as big of a meme as agile is in the in the development world because agile programming is just the biggest burden to developers and I, have you ever tried creating a new product like brand new when you're operating under the pretense of agile it slows everything down by like five times yeah sure you get cleaner stories made you maybe have some tighter metrics for the people who, who are monitoring that kind of that type of stuff but ask the developers what their experience is now obviously it's changes right if you're being assigned if you're just being assigned work and you're not asking about it but if you're the one creating the stories or if you're the one leading the project agile adds a ton of overhead and a ton of work to your plate on top of building the system and so if you have to also have in this mind of like don't write if else that i mean that's crazy i mean it's just utterly nonsense whenever i see this being compared being called better than that I just don't see how that's better. It's not better or worse. It just is different. 
And I think that that's really the problem is that we're trying to make everything one line and we're treating one line as always better when sometimes it's not always better because what happens if you need to add something here or what happens if you need to add something before the return you're going to be you're going to have to do that now either break this out into different methods or you can keep your if else and maybe add a log but before each of those and so it just comes down to system design, right? Because if you want to add a log, you can easily do that here. How are you going to do that in your turn area in a single line? What, are you just going to keep making it a long line to stretch hundreds of like rows? Or are you going to extract, extract that out into its own method? I mean, what are you going to do? What's your plan? If it's its own method, then you have to put on a different line, right? So that's my thing of like, why are we trying to limit ourselves to only one line? when code is like a, a multi-line program, right? We're not, I'm not going to write my entire middleware in one line. Using that logic, I may as well just take everything and just, I'm just going to put it all in, you know, there we go. Here, perfect. Now it's all one line. Now it's, it's yeah, beautiful. <laughs> like, what are we trying to do here, everybody? Like, what, like, is that better because it's one line and now you don't have to read like scroll down like i, I are we trying to avoid scrolling a wheel to to see more code i'm not sure what the end goal is here um like oh you know i'm in my middleware you know here we go right this is cleaner yep remove that if you know if here we go that's bad oh wait we have an if statement let's just uh let's move that here Let's get that up to the top here. I'm literally messing up my whole file. Perfect. What? No, there's no. You would never write it like that. So why are we treating the same there? Let me go back to where my file was. This is just a rant, but I'm gonna. I literally just screwed up my whole file. <laughs> oh no! Add it back. Go back to where I was at. Jeez. There we go. Okay. We're back to the service. But anyway, it just doesn't make any sense. So what are, what are we trying to do here? I mean, is this cleaner? I don't know. Maybe. Is there an argument to use one or the other? Not really. And if you really care that much about this, I would argue that you're probably focusing on the wrong things. Because if you get hung up, on how many lines something is when it's kind of like, you know, arbitrary a little bit. I mean, uh, I don't know. I mean, are we are we trying to, you know, make micro optimizations when we don't need to? Are we trying to just be nitpicky in our pull requests? Sounds like it. Anyway, I mean, if you encounter a situation where you're kind of getting nitpicked to avoid this in favor of this. You know, I don't know what to, I don't know what to say. I mean, I would just like to say, you know, whatever, and then just change it. But like, honestly, I prefer if statements, that's just me. Like I, it's what I like. And I see these as purely subjective things. So I definitely would not go as far to say like one of these is this indication of a senior developer. One is an indication of a junior developer. Like that's just, that's just utter nonsense. I mean, I, I, I think that's just like a clickbait add or clickbait you know post because it really doesn't there's no value changing it like why if you look at it from a money perspective i mean why change this to that if it's doing the same thing you're you're, there's no gain to be had and if you do want to add anything you're probably going to revert it to this i mean i you could say oh yeah you know remove the else and just have a return yeah okay sure there there we go and then you can clean it up a little bit and you know, keep going. Obviously, you could be here all day. You could, I could change, you know, I could argue, hey, we want to take this out and make it its own method and, you know, extract method and, you know, okay, there we go. I, I move, I change it to its own method. Okay, well, now, oh, I have some additional functionality. Let's keep going. Let's extract method, extract method. Here we go. All right, I got another method, new method. Well, wait a second. What does number plus two mean? We got to extract that. And you it, see, that's just the rabbit hole of extraction. And if you keep going, there's no end in sight. So at the, some at some point in time, 
you're going to have to be okay with this because when does it stop and that's my biggest hang up of this is when do you stop writing clean code and when is it acceptable and are we focusing on the wrong things and so if you see if you're in a poll like a code review and you see this i i, I mean what, what do you like are you gonna stop like are you just also why is my thing like why did my highlight go crazy i'm like highlighting like what what i see i broke it or i broke it more tried to I, this is crazy i gotta end the video here but if you see these crazy posts i don't know i i mean <laughs> what do you all think i mean it's, it's yeah i don't know what to say i'll see you in the next one